Here's my list of 10 things you don't need to know about. Number one, half the people wipe sitting down, the other half wipe standing up. That's right. Half you didn't know the other half did the other thing in the first place. Some of you already know this one, but it's always been my favorite track to tell people. Don't ask me why. Number two. This is for the guys and a little bit for the girls too. Those who don't know that there's such thing as growers and showers out there. That's right. A man's penis is not the same size erect as it is limp. Some men are showers and some men are growers. If I have to explain the difference, I will. Basically, a shower is someone who actually is the same size, roughly, to when he's erect. Close to it, not the same. And the uh, growers, the guys who look like they're half an inch stuck into their gut, that's not the same size. So ladies, don't judge a guy when he's limp. And men, don't worry about going to that locker room with a small little dick. Unless you got a small little dick. But hey, if you got a small little dick, there's people out there who like small dicks. I like small dicks. My husband doesn't have a small dick, but I like small dicks. Totally off topic. Let's move on to number three. Women's Libya. Now I've heard a lot about these ones. Especially for men, obviously. Complained about how, how his pussy looks. How it's, if it looks gross, they're not going to do anything. And these are the same guys who complained about women judging men on the dick size. Well, this is for the men, and a little bit for the women. Did you know, pretty much the same thing as men, is a woman's Libya Midora. And it's sometimes larger than her Libya Majora. Pretty much the difference of an Eddie or an Audi. Perfectly normal, nothing changes. Just the aesthetics of it look different. Can't help it. Nothing goes wrong with that. So, a little shout out to the women, a little shout out to the men. Top 10 today. Number 4. Now this is completely off track. And I'm only doing this because my husband's left handed too. And this still happens to this day. Left handers who are forced to write with the right hand at an early age causes so much psychological issues. It's unbelievable. Some of the things that come out from it include bedwetting, stuttering, bad memory, poor concentration, and nail biting. Now the sad thing is, is this is still happening these days. Like, look, I understand it happened a long time ago. The whole idea that left-handed or touched by the devil and whatnot. Um, and then later on it was Joe like, nope, everyone was right-handed. Fit into the norm. But with this day and age, like, come on, we got Google now. You, you don't need to force your kid to wipe the blood right it doesn't change anything. So, that's my little off topic one. Moving on to number five, my favorite, and the reason why I hate public swimming pools. In one hour of swimming at a local pool, you'll ingest about a half liter of urine. That's right, one hour of swimming, you're gonna swallow approximately half a liter of piss. Let that think in just a little bit. How often do you go to the pool? How many times do you got a little bit of chlorine in your mouth? And you're like, oh, is it chlorine? No. That's somebody's piss. Old man piss, old woman piss. Just gross all around. But, decide to share you. Number six. Annually, you'll shake hands with more than or roughly 11 women who have not washed their hands after masturbation. That's right. When you go out in public and you shake a woman's hands, there's a chance that you just shook hands with someone who just masturbated and did not clean their hands. Then I know some guys are out there, oh, that's so hot. You shake hands with grannies, school teachers, ugly ass fat women, Think about that for a second. Those fingers be woofed up there in that nasty, hairy, gross pussy. Just digging around in there, rubbing on that clip, flicking that bean. Then you shake your head like nothing fucking happened. Absolutely disgusting. Which moves on to number eight. 
Oh, sorry, number seven. Which I'll shout out to the women. And we will shake hands with six men who did not wash their hands after that spray. Do you hear that? Men are more hygienic to not wash their hands after masturbating. <laughs> it's almost double women who don't. And think about that for a second. We're on the outside. Like we're rubbing the skin. Usually for most part, it's fairly dry and clean already. You're sticking your hands inside an orifice. <laughs> Anyways. Number eight. <laughs> Sorry. Number eight. On average, a person's yearly intake of fast food will contain 12 pubic hairs. I, I gag. <laughs> I'm doing it again. <laughs> I gag reading this one. I couldn't believe it. Yearly, of all the fast food you eat, I think this is on average. So, I, I, from my understanding, if you don't eat a whole lot of fast food, obviously it's going to be quite a bit lower, if not none. But, do you think how many people go to fast food? I think the national average in the States was three to four times a week. Twelve pubic hairs you digest. <laughs> oh, God. Alright, moving on to number 9. Daily, you'll breathe in approximately 1 liter of another person's anal gases. That's right, folks. <laughs> Almost every day in your office space, you're going to breathe in someone else's farts. About 1 liter to exact it. Think about that for a second. You look over to your console buddy Joe or console lady Jane. Breathing in their ass parts. Oof. <laughs> That's not as gross as number. What is the, the swimming pool one? But it's still pretty nasty. And the last one. The top ten things you did not need to know. And trust me, after hearing this one, you wish you didn't hear it. Sharing a bag of chips with a friend gives you a ten percent chance of ingesting a small amount of their feces. You hear that? There's a 10% chance that you just ate a piece of their poop. <laughs> so, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, that's my top 10 things of things you did not need to know. See you guys soon. Talk to you later. Yeah.